Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Bojan Zulabek here. So, are you looking for a wireless follow focus system that's around $200? Stay tuned. This is the Nucleus N by Tilta, a wireless lens control system. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. So this is the kit and this is what comes with it. Here is the wireless follow focus motor, the base plate, the hand wheel attachment adapter for the Zion Crane 1, a 15 by 100 millimeter black aluminum rod, a hand wheel adapter plate for the Ronin S or G2X, a battery charger for the hand wheel controller. Here you will find all the cables and here are the batteries for the hand wheel controller and this is the hand wheel controller itself. Up here you will find all the Allen keys, the manuals and follow focus gear rings. Here we have the hand wheel controller and the wireless follow focus motor. The hand wheel controller weighs 0.351 pounds without the battery and it takes one battery. Here we have the wireless follow focus motor which weighs 0.168 pounds and requires external power. It's very compact with a length of 8 centimeters, 2.26 centimeters in width and 2.38 centimeters in depth. It also features a small LCD display that will show you what channel you're on and where you are in terms of focus. As mentioned, the focus motor does need to be powered via an external source. In this case, I used a 10,000 milliamp power bank and it works just fine. Now let's take a closer look at the hardware. Underneath the LCD display, you will see two buttons. When double pressed, they allow you to change the channel so it corresponds to the channel on the hand wheel controller. On the top, you will find a micro USB port to connect it to power and an RS port. Now let's take a closer look at the hand wheel controller. When you press the rec button for a couple of seconds, the display lights up and the device is ready to be used. The left and right buttons will also allow you to adjust the channel when pressed twice. Here you will find a few other buttons, the set button, the left and right arrows, rec and the calibration button. When you press the left or up button for two seconds, it brings up the menu. Here you will be able to make all kinds of changes, such as change the knob direction, calibrating the knob, restore and others. As mentioned, this kit does include two focus gear rings. However, these are not seamless and because of that, depending on your lens, you might run into problems if the top part of it hits the focus motor. In that case, I would recommend getting a seamless focus gear like this one. Tilta does sell them on their website and they work just great. Now let's take a closer look at the setup and see how it performs in the real world. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is a pretty, pretty sweet uh, kit. Uh, the price is right, around 220, 240 US dollars, somewhere around there, uh, which uh, that's a pretty good price if you're looking for a wireless follow focus kit. It comes with everything, and I do love that they thought of everything, including all the Allen keys. However, that's also, in my opinion, one of the drawbacks, which is the fact that you have various keys that you have to use to make adjustments. It would be nice if it was just one size instead of various sizes. That's a bit of a pain that it's not one standard, or even better, that you can't, um, you know, uh, tighten it with your hand um, and, and I get it if you really want a, a tight grip uh, something like this works better than tightening it, tightening it with your hand but uh, you know just something to keep in mind um, that you know you're gonna have to have all these uh, well not all of them because again it depends what you're doing what you are attaching but yeah that's something to keep in mind
Also, if you have a lens with a stiff focusing ring, like an old vintage lens, that could be a problem. I have an old 40 year old Russian Helios lens and unfortunately I can't use it with this setup because its focusing ring is too stiff. So it requires more power that this motor just can't give. I don't think uh, this uh, impacts newer lenses, but if you have vintage lenses, uh, you might not be able to use this guy. You might have to step up to the next model um, uh, that has a more powerful motor, right? So again, just something to keep in mind. Um, you know, it might be a deal breaker for you. It might not, just, it just depends on your lens. So there's that. Um, other than that, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, it does what it's supposed to do. The, the latency on this thing is pretty low. I did not have any problems. Um, usually the way I use this guy when it comes to this environment here, um, I have it hooked up. Um, it's attached to my camera, which is on uh, a uh, gimbal, uh, uh, which is the um, uh, Aircross 2, and that's attached to the Slypod, um, all by Godson. And I use that to create certain, um, certain motion control paths. Uh, so when I shoot my product shots, you know, I uh, make that work. And then I use this guy to adjust the focus. So I'm standing, I don't know, a couple of feet away from it, adjusting the focus, making sure it all works. Uh, so all the shots you saw in this video were done that way, right? And it works fine. I didn't have a problem with latency, nothing, um, as long as the battery is obviously not depleted. Uh, and the battery does last for hours. I mean, I would use uh, one battery, one charge for, I mean, it's, it's on and off, but if I had to put it all together, you can get one full day easily with one uh, battery, right? So again, that's good. Uh, it takes, I think, a couple of hours to charge the battery with the included charger, somewhere around there, uh, two to three hours. Uh, so that's not bad. And um, yeah, um, you're good to go. So everything's included. It's easy to use. Just make sure the channels are the same on uh, both the actual wheel and the motor and uh, you're good to go. So not a lot of setup and yeah, all good there. So all in all, like I said, I love this guy. Links to everything will be in the description. So check those out and uh, stay tuned for more. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel, tell your friends and all that good stuff. Thanks.